Hello and welcome back for yet another PG-13 Bible story. Today this one comes from Judges 16, maybe a judge you have heard of, of Samson. Samson was a judge for the people of Israel. He was an instrument of God to set his pre people free from the foreign rule of the Philistines. Yet again, God, in his life, God uses him to save his people. He has plenty in his life that should disqualify him from being a judge and one of God's instruments, but in this one, in today's episode, I want to focus on Samson and Delilah. Delilah was a woman whom Samson loved, a woman, though, who never says it becomes his wife, yet he lays with her each night. She is bribed by the Philistines to figure out what it is that makes Samson so strong so that he can come and conquer and defeat and kill the Philistines. She tries to use his love to leverage him and manipulate him into telling her what it is that makes him so strong. And because Samson loves her, he tells her. Eventually, he tells her a number of things. First, he tells her that if he is bound with fresh bowstrings, that he will become powerless. So, Delilah betrays him, binds him, and yet he is not overcome. And so she does it again, and he says, if you bind me with new ropes, I will not be able to break them. And so she betrays him, binds him with new ropes, and yet he is not powerless. So yet again she comes to him, and, and he says, Okay, this time if you weave my hair into locks, then I, my strength will be taken away. And now yet a third time Delilah betrays him, weaves his hair into locks, and yet he's not powerless. So one more time. She says she is vexed to the point of death. If you do not tell me, then you truly do not love me, and I will die. And because he loves her, he tells her. A razor has never touched his head, and if his head is shaved and cut, his strength will leave him. And she cuts his hair, and he is bound, and he is taken by the Philistines and led to his death again, betrayed by his love. Which makes you wonder, why would he tell her in the first place? Why would he tell her again and again and again when she's proven herself to be unfaithful? For the sake of love. Love opens the door for betrayal. Love opens the door for the betrayal of Jesus. Because he loves you, even though when you, when you are unfaithful, even when you betray him, his love remains. His love for you separates him from God as Samson is separated from his hair and separated from the vow and from his strength because he loves. So God loves you in Christ, gives his life up for you to save you and bring you together with him forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen.